Welcome to another episode of Unlocking the Mind Behind Make More Work Less. Hi, my name is Paul Chua. I'm an entrepreneur, business strategist, real estate investor, speaker, and also a best-selling author. And every single day, I help others unlock the potentials and guide them to succeed. Today on Unlocking the Mind, we talk about another cognitive bias. And the reason why we have this show is so we can better understand how our minds work, how we make decisions, how we can make better relationship decisions, and also uh, build better relationships and negotiate better and sometimes even avoid certain kinds of traps. So for today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about information bias. So what exactly is information bias? Well, who here believes that the more information that you have, the better decisions you will make? How about sometimes who here believes that the more information you have may not necessarily be necessary to make the best decision? Well, information bias is basically, there's a human tendency to want to seek more information so that even though if it has no relevance to your final decision, they take on more and more information, despite the fact that actually less information provides better decision-making. So that is information bias. So how do we see this in the day-to-day -day world? Well, let's say for instance, you're thinking about buying a house and you know for a fact that there's no way you're gonna be paying that much money for that specific house. However, you keep on asking more information. How many bathrooms are there? What location is it in? Um, when's garbage day? What color does it come in? Or what color is the bathroom? You keep on asking all these questions, even though if you know for a fact, you're not gonna pay any price that's close to what they're asking for. So regardless of what information you're getting, it's still gonna be a no. So why are you asking all those questions? The same thing goes with something that you actually have already made the decision to buy. So for instance, again, if you were to buy a house and you know for sure you're gonna buy that house, you're gonna keep on asking more information. Well, why are you asking all that information? Well, most likely or not, it's because one, you're maybe procrastinating. You're afraid to actually stand pat on that decision. So therefore you keep on asking more information to even justify the fact that yes, I'm making the right decision or to prolong that thought process to make sure that you're making the right decision. You're prolonging it because you're procrastinating. You're kind of in that fear of actually taking action on the decision you're about to make. Now, in the case of uh, the, the house that you're not gonna buy, you're asking more information because maybe you wanna find justification to maybe expand your budget maybe why you should actually buy. So trying to grasp at more information so that you can buy it. But in the end, you're not gonna get it. So why are you asking more information? So the question is, you need to ask yourself, is the questions I'm asking actually relevant to the decision I'm gonna make? If you're before, right before you ask that question, you might wanna say, well, what if it's a yes or a no? What would, what would my decision be? If your decision is gonna be the same, either if it's a yes or a no, or what, regardless of what the answer is gonna become, then, then there's no reason to ask that question. You would even actually save time. So the thing is, when it comes to information bias, it's the, the thing that it actually takes, uh, takes away from is your time. It actually becomes a detriment to your decision-making. The more information you ask for, even when it's irrelevant to your decision, well, guess what? You're losing time. And that's why when it comes to decision-making, sometimes it's better to make your decisions quick and with less information and go with your gut. Uh, one of the strategies that I've been taught, was taught is the five, four, three, two, one, decide. Go with your gut because most likely than not, your gut's gonna give you the right uh, path forward. If you don't feel right about something, it's probably a no. Regardless of how much more information you're gonna ask for, it's still probably a no. So for instance, another example is, when I'm screening for tenants. When a, uh, when a tenant comes up to me and I already got this feeling that I don't wanna rent to this person, there's really no reason for me to keep on asking questions. Uh, can you send me your credit score? Can you send me your application? Can you send me all this other stuff? What was your past job? Regardless of how well that information comes in, more likely than not, I'm still gonna go, mm, I'm gonna pick somebody else because my initial gut feel was to say, no, I'm not renting to this person. And sometimes vice versa. If there was something I really, somebody I really, really liked, and I'm like, you know what? I'm really gonna rent to this person. And the more information that you ask, it's probably gonna support the fact that I wanna rent to this person. So again, all the information is irrelevant. It might just justify my decision even more. So what happens? I waste more time asking for more information. I waste more time prolong prolonging that decision. So again, that is information bias, is the fact that sometimes, it, more information does not help you make a better decision. It only costs you more time. 
So if you like this episode on Unlocking the Mind, please like, subscribe, and share, and comment. I love seeing your comments. And go back to see some of our other episodes on Unlocking the Mind. And if you like this show, we have the Peak Potential Success Show. We have the Make More Mind Bites. And of course, the Master Mind Bites that's up every single week. So until next time, today is the day to unlock your potential. We'll see you later.